You finally got that new car. So you called your insurance company. Your call is important to us. Please hold. We are the tippy top worst shop insurance. You ended that call with their jingle stuck in your head. Then you called NJM. Thanks for calling NJM Insurance. This is Claudia. Let's see if we can save you up to 25% on your auto insurance. No jingles or mascots, just great insurance. Visit NJM.com for a quote. Head back in time with the Hartford Symphony Orchestra to celebrate the iconic rock event Woodstock with the Summer of 69 on Friday, July 8th at the Telkit Mountain Music Festival at Simsbury Meadows. The HSO will be joined by guest artists Jeans and Classics who will perform the legendary music of Woodstock with their own special flair. For tickets to Summer of 69 on Friday, July 8th, call 860-987-5900 or visit hartfordsymphony.org. Four o'clock hour doesn't usually start till 4.03 at the earliest, so this is actually an early start for us at 4.02. Getting it done. We're getting it done today, Daddy. (laughs) Give you the uh, stock market update. The stock market close is sponsored by QC Kinetics. If you've got chronic pain and want to avoid surgery and steroids, call QC Kinetics for your free consultation today. 954-787-PAIN. That's 954-787-PAIN. What are you doing, dishes back there? Where did he walk off to? <laughs> he just walked the, He walked away to do dishes while I was giving the stock market update? I believe he did. Did yes. you walk away to do dishes, Crowder, <laughs> while I was doing the stock market? Why didn't you mute your microphone? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you have, a kitchenette in your hotel room? What, it what was, is it? Yeah, it was uh, the, the little... Uh, they have a little coffee machine microwave thing, and it started beeping, and then I knocked over a glass. I'm sorry. Is there anyone, like, less aware? <laughs> less aware. You know what? I am the LeBron of radio, and he's J.R. Smith when they need a bucket. <laughs> and he's just passing it out. Yeah. Because I, 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 try, I, try, I try to not make mistakes, and then they become more mistakes. I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, but, it, I mean, you set the microwave to go off. I don't even know. Anyway, the stock market report. Go ahead and buy yourself something today while you're out there in Austin. Crowder, Dow Jones Industrial Average up 347 points today. Ooh. S&P 500 up 57 points. The NASDAQ up 259 points. It's the uh, year's longest winning streak right now for the S&P 500. Four days. So it hasn't been a great year, but that's the year's <laughs> longest winning streak. That is your stock market close, sponsored by QC Kinetics. I forgot to ask Rob Pizzola for a cash pop number yesterday. Jimmy, when he ordered his uh, Jack Harlow meal, he gave us the number 13 for cash pop, and that was not a winner. We lost money on the cash pop mm. yesterday. All right, let us uh, begin the 4 o'clock hour here. Badlands Booker is going to join us this hour. By the way, the competitive eater, Eric Badlands Booker, will join us, talk about the hot dog eating contest on Coney Island. He did the uh, the lemonade drink before the hot dog eating contest, he uh, he is a monster at that. So he'll join us this hour. Let us uh, begin, though, with headlines and Alejandro Solana. This sports update, it's driven by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Supercenter. Why buy your truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. Uh, we know trucks. Los Marlins open up a four-game series tonight in New York versus Los Mets. 7, 10 p.m. is your first pitch. All right. Very good. Rob Pizzola, take Francisco said, uh, take Francisco Lindor under a half a hit. So you're just rooting for him to go hitless. Lindor diced us up the other night, though, when the Marlins hosted the Mets. Did he? Yeah, there was one game where he just he went off against the Marlins. Who's pitching tonight for the Marlins? Do you know? I do not. No. All right. Might be pillows tonight. Well, Sandy and Trevor Rogers. Sandy, Rogers. Trevor. Could be pillows Might tonight. be pillows. You might be right. Hmm. NHL draft is tonight. Begins at 7 p.m. Remember, at 7, you can hear Doug Plagans, radio voice of the Cats, and Randy Moeller, TV analyst for the Cats, live on 560 WQAM. Very good. Rafa Nadal has pulled out of the semifinal. Tomorrow's semifinal of the Wimbledon tournament. Has a torn abdominal muscle. So Nick Kyrgios... Through to his first ever final. 
You're going to gift us with your Rafa Nadal take again, or uh, are we going to move past that? We can move past it if you want. I just think if you're committed to competition, uh, you you throw the quarterfinal, let the kid play Nick Kyrgios in the semis. (laughs) Did you just say if you're committed to competition, you throw the match before? (laughs) I'm not certain you made a great argument for your point. We'll move forward then. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, let's. Um, this is a pretty big story. Uh, I saw Reuters tweeted it out. I saw Darren Ravel repost it as well. Um, you're aware the World Cup, FIFA World Cup, will be played in Qatar coming up later this year. Around Thanksgiving time is when it kicks off. World Cup stadiums will reportedly not be serving alcohol at this year's event in well, Qatar. Well, right. In, in Muslim countries, you don't drink alcohol. It is forbidden. So in, in Qatar hmm. specifically, I was reading the article, um, it's – not allow you it's it's against the the law to drink in public or to be drunk period so alcohol consumption is allowed at specific times so there's going to be uh fan zones where at certain times throughout the day you'll be able to purchase alcohol hmm. but drinking in public and drinking in stadiums will not be allowed generally also in in countries like Qatar the uh, United Arab Emirates uh tourists are allowed to drink at hotels uh, oftentimes. So, yeah, it's a uh, locals will not. Well, aren't they losing a lot of money with that? Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. In 2018, the World Cup was in Russia, if you remember, and there was a big controversy, not controversy, but a big story that during the knockout rounds when all the teams are playing, um, or in the group stages, excuse me, they actually, certain cities, host cities, ran out of beer. And right, Russians, they love to drink. In fact, you're forced to drink a bottle of vodka if you watch a uh, a soccer match there. They actually kick you out if you don't. They weren't expecting the that amount of consumption of beer, so uh, they had to ship in from other Eastern European countries shipments of beer just, just to be able to get people. It was like, hey, we got to get lit up now because when we go, you know, in uh, four years to Qatar, uh, we're not going to be able to drink. <laughs> Love the concept. I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> Miami is at the forefront of the World Baseball Classic. They have uh, released their official format. They'll host group stages, quarterfinal, semifinal, and the championship series. It begins March 2023. All right. Very good. He'd officially re-signed Victor Oladipo. They made it official today. Two-year contract instead of the one-year deal. You know, the, uh, the Heat Summer League games are going to be on 790 the ticket this year. I believe that's the first time ever. Uh, first one is Saturday, right? Saturday, 530 versus the Celtics, I believe. Very cool. Well, summer league basketball from Vegas. That's the best part. You can drink all you want in Vegas. There's no, uh, <laughs> no problem there. Yes. And we've actually tried to drink all the alcohol <laughs> and beer. It didn't work. They yeah. always have more. Yeah. yeah. Inter Miami did make a trade, by the way, with Toronto FC for Alejandro Pozuelo. His nickname is El Maestro, the teacher. He was the 2020 MLS MVP, league's fourth highest paid player. He will occupy an international roster slot and a DP spot, designated player spot for Inter-Miami. All right, very good. Your weather, it's sponsored by Demesman and Dover Law Firm. You know, there's odds, uh, you know, you can bet now to win the World Cup. Uh, USA is plus 2,500. Is that worth a flyer, Solano? There's no chance that they could win a World Cup. USA is on the up and up, but no chance they win the World Cup. You know who the favorite is? You want to guess? Brazil. Brazil, you are correct. Hmm. believe they're currently ranked number one in the FIFA World Rankings. Hmm. Young team, veterans as well. Makes sense. All right. Take a flyer on Uruguay. Really? Yes. All right, let's see where they are. Uh, they're like the U.S., plus 2,500. Take a flyer on them. Okay. He's a Uruguay fan. I, I am, know. but they're I a know. good team. They're a good okay. team. Good mix of Favorites young Favorites are talent. Brazil, then France, then England, then Argentina, Spain, Germany, Belgium, the Netherlands, and Portugal. France won in 2018. I believe only one team has ever won back-to-back World oh. Cups. It's very rare. I am from France. Your weather <laughs> from the Demesman and Dover <laughs> Law Firm. <laughs> Your accidentattorneys.com. Free consultations 24-7 at 866-954-MORE. 
Right now, partly cloudy tonight. The lows will drop into the mid 70s. I should have known better than trying to do soccer talk here. <laughs> no, that was all I had to add at that point. I mean, that was literally all the analysis <laughs> that I had. <laughs> that is your weather. All right. Badlands Booker is going to join us in the next segment. We'll talk a little competitive eating and the uh, Nathan's hot dog eating contest, which was Monday on Coney Island. This is the Hawk and Crowder Show. I think Trick Daddy said it best when he said, let's go! <laughs> I didn't know which, which quote you are going to go with. Hawk and Crowder. Want to hear a jingle? Yeah, neither do we. This commercial break is brought to you jingle-free by NJM Insurance. No jingles or mascots, just great insurance. Visit NJM.com to see if you could save up to 25% on your auto insurance. Is your employee benefit plan receiving the attention it deserves? Employee benefit plan audits require navigating complex regulatory reporting and compliance. UHY has an extensive employee benefit plan practice and ranks as one of the top firms in the country with the number of benefit plans audited. Your people are your most valuable asset. Our hands-on approach provides the insight that you and your plan's participants deserve. Call our Farmington office, 860-530-6949 or visit FarmingtonCPA.com. Stop in for Late Night Happy Hour at Square Peg Pizzeria in Glastonbury. Every Friday and Saturday, 8.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. Live DJ every Friday and live music on Saturday with a variety of half-priced food and beverages. Visit squarepegpizzeria.com. Head back in time with the Hartford Symphony Orchestra to celebrate the iconic rock event Woodstock with a summer of 69 on Friday, July 8th at the Talcott Mountain Music Festival at Simsbury Meadows. The HSO will be joined by guest artist Jeans and Classics who will perform the legendary music of Woodstock with their own special flair. For tickets to Summer of 69 on Friday, July 8th, call 860-987-5900 or visit hartfordsymphony.org. Welcome to History Is Us. I'm Dr. Eddie S. Glaude, Jr. Join me as we journey through history to face the ugly truths at the heart of the American story. Throughout this series, we explore who we are as a nation. Listen to History Is Us, a creation and presentation of Shining City Audio, a C-13 Originals, and John Meachin Studio. Available now on the Odyssey app or wherever you listen to your podcasts. We caught Badlands Booker in his car. He was about 10 minutes from home, caught in a little bit of traffic, so we'll actually have Badlands on in the next segment. Uh, I'm here in Miami. Crowder is in Austin, Texas, doing some work for the Pivot Podcast, which is so very good. And uh, I uh, I haven't done Jim uh, Jody Joseph's Bad Joke of the Day in a while, you know, my friend Jim DeJoseph, his father is Joe DeJoseph. He sends me a bad joke every morning, a dad joke, if you will, <laughs> every morning. And we turned it into a bit, the Joe DeJoseph bad joke of the day. And done one in a while because I wasn't certain that there was anything really worthy of being on the air. But I loved the one that I got today. So without further ado, here is the Joe DeJoseph bad joke of the day. On the Hawk and Crowder show, we know funny. <laughs> Without further ado, the Joe to Joseph's Bad Joke of the Day. Read by Mark Hawkman. You know, my boss wants me to sign up for a 401k, but there is no way I can run that far. <laughs> Funny, right? That is a good one. I like that, that one. I like, I I like saw that, that one. one today. I like that one. I thought that was funny. <laughs> How about this? I was reading CBSSports.com, and they ranked the top 10 receivers in the NFL for the upcoming season. All right? Mm-hmm. Where do you think Tyreek Hill is on the list, 1 through 10? Ooh, four. Uh, he is six. He's six. Mm. They've got listed before him number one, Devontae Adams. Yeah. Number two, Justin Jefferson. Mm -hmm. Number three, Jamar Chase. Yep. Number four, Cooper Cup. Yeah. 
Number five, Stephon Diggs. Yeah. <laughs> Number six, Tyreek Hill, right? There's not like I, I was doing it because when I first looked at the list, I was like, six, wait a second. But then I look at the five guys ahead of him, and it's not it's not out of line, is it? No, not at all. I knew Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, and Devontae. That was why I said four, but now Cooper Cup bought, went stupid last stupid, year. Stupid, yeah. And Stephon Diggs is a monster, and Josh Allen, and with their competitive, you know, like they're Super Bowl contenders. If if, if Ty, my question would be if Tyreek was still with Patrick Mahomes, would he be higher right. on the list? It's a great question, right? Is he getting points off because it's too uh, – and not uh, Patrick Mahomes. And the, the, what they write on CBS Sports about Tyreek Hill, perhaps no one listed here is under more pressure to perform than the Cheetah, now the NFL's highest paid wideout after an abrupt trade from Kansas City. His stockier stature has never prevented him from owning opponents in big spots. Not only is he lightning fast, deep ball extraordinaire, but he's unafraid of outmuscling guys in tight windows. But it's not crazy to wonder how his game without Patrick Mahomes will translate to a Dolphins offense seemingly more geared towards short area concepts. Yeah, it's it's, it's a it, that's the concern, right? They have to they have to figure out this learning curve of playing with each other very fast, because you don't want Cheetah to start getting frustrated that you know the protection or two. You know, Patrick Mahomes buys a lot of time. All that running around, sidearm throwing, he buys time for the receivers to get open. Tua doesn't do that. So it's going to have to be some timing stuff. I hope they can figure out this learning curve to, with each other a lot faster than game six or seven or eight. They need to do it in camp. That is the uh, that is the big question mark, right? If he's not utilized the way that he was used Ooh. in Kansas City, is he going to be frustrated? And then what do you do if you have a, a frustrated Tyreek Hill on the roster? You have a first-year head coach. You have a quarterback that would be feeling the heat. That that would be the nightmare scenario, right? Yeah. yeah. And just get the ball in his hand. Like Debo Samuel. I know they're not built the same. Debo Samuel's a big, thick, you know, big old thick fella. Tyreek's a little smaller, but he's fast. The hand sweeps, maybe, you know, flare him out the backfield, do some different things with him. But yes, if he doesn't if he doesn't catch a ball in the first 10, 12 plays, he's gonna get mad. Because he was that dude in KC. I think, though, you, you kind of said, like, Mike McDaniel, I, I mean, he's savvy enough to know, yeah, even if I have to run gadget plays, like, I just got to get the ball in his hands. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's what he has to do. But, yeah, don't don't let – you you didn't pay that man to have him as any kind of decoy. Get the ball to him. The, uh, the entire list, so uh, these are CBSSports.com, top ten receivers in the NFL this upcoming season, according to them. So, one, Devontae Adams – Two, Justin Jefferson, then Jamar Chase, Cooper Cups, Stephon Diggs, Tyreek Hill, and then rounding out the list, seven is Mike Evans, eight, Debo Samuel, nine, Keenan Allen, and ten, A.J. Brown. No DeAndre Hopkins on this list? I know he's suspended for six games, but... Yeah, I mean, how could you have him as a top ten receiver in the NFL if he's only going to give you, uh, you know, uh, two-thirds of a season? Yeah. I mean, because it, it's like you're trying to do it based on what you think, I'm guessing, the way that the list is comprised, like what you think they're going to end up producing by the end of the season. It's crazy, though, right, Crowder? Two years ago, he had the catch of the season. He was a monster. Everybody thought DeAndre Hopkins was the best receiver in the NFL, and it's not like he's old or washed. He's just suspended for six games. But last year, he didn't really show out either in Arizona. I wonder what uh... – what people are thinking about on Dolphins. What is the over-under? Was it was it nine and a half, Solana? It was nine and a half. Lee Sterling last week said he had nine. Oh, really? Yeah. That would be a disappointment, right? I mean, again, people don't look at the schedule. They just look at total win. Although, I guess if it's first year, I don't know. Is nine wins enough for them? Uh, I mean, if they I end, if they end no. nine and... Eight. Nine and eight, right? There's 17 games. You're not you're not going to the playoffs no, in the AFC. Not in the AFC. Last no. two seasons, they had 10 wins, and they missed out on the playoffs in both of those seasons. Yeah. I think with that 17th game, we're looking more at 11 to make it. The line is out for uh, week one of the NFL. So it's the Dolphins hosting the New England Patriots. You want to guess what the line is? We may have talked about this before. You want to guess what the line is, though? Dolphins by three. Four. Yeah, Dolphins minus two and a half right now. Oh, okay. Which, by the way, if we do like that bet, and I do, it probably behooves you to put it. Although, 
Now that I'm thinking, I'm like, I was going to say it behooves you to put it in at minus two and a half so that it doesn't get up to minus three. But if I think about it, and again, there's so much time till game one, but if I think about it, the Patriots probably get more action than any team just because they're the Patriots. So people start gambling. It is possible that that actually goes down to like Dolphins minus two. I don't know. And then new new coach, you know, new system, new offense and all. You think they start slow? Yeah, I think the Patriots get better on in that one. Um, but anyway, that'll be week one. We're almost there. What uh when does the preseason start? It's next month, right, Solana? Yeah, next month, August thirteenth, I believe, is a Saturday. Wow. Is their first preseason game in Tampa Bay, and then the following tour at home. All right. Let's uh so we'll break a little bit early here. We're we're assuming Badlands Booker will be at home in the next few minutes. Yeah, he told me ten minutes, so we're right around that time. All right, very good. So what we'll do is we'll take a uh, a quick break here and then we can talk a little Nathan's hot dog eating contest and chugging and uh protesters rushing the stage. I mean, there <laughs> there was a lot of action on Monday in Coney Island. So Badlands Booker will join us here in a moment. You're listening to the Hawk and Crowder show. Azucar! Hawk and Crowder. You finally got that new car, so you called your insurance company. Your call is important to us. Please hold. We are the tippy top, we're top insurance. You ended that call with their jingle stuck in your head. Then, you called NJM. Thanks for calling NJM Insurance. This is Claudia. Let's see if we can save you up to 25% on your auto insurance. No jingles or mascots, just great insurance. Visit NJM.com for a quote. Is your employee benefit plan receiving the attention it deserves? Employee benefit plan audits require navigating complex regulatory reporting and compliance. UHY has an extensive employee benefit plan practice and ranks as one of the top firms in the country with the number of benefit plans audited. Your people are your most valuable asset. Our hands-on approach provides the insight that you and your plan's participants deserve. Call our Farmington office, 860-530-6949 or visit FarmingtonCPA.com. Head back in time with the Hartford Symphony Orchestra to celebrate the iconic rock event Woodstock with a summer of 69 on Friday, July 8th at the Talcott Mountain Music Festival at Simsbury Meadows. The HSO will be joined by guest artists Jeans and Classics who will perform the legendary music of Woodstock with their own special flair. For tickets to Summer of 69 on Friday, July 8th, call 860-987-5900 or visit hartfordsymphony.org. I'm Matt Spiegel, and I'm the host of the brand new podcast, Beat the Streak Daily. Every weekday this Major League season, I will update the state of Beat the Streak. The rules are simple. Each day, pick one or two players you think will get a hit. And if they do, your streak continues. Sounds doable, right? But so far, it's been impossible to win. And with millions of dollars on the line, no one has ever gotten to 56. Subscribe now to Beat the Streak Daily, wherever you get your podcasts, and play Beat the Streak for your chance to win $5.6 million. How's your mental health? I'm listening with Michael Phelps. You know, I think for me in in 2014, when I found myself in that dark, dark place where I I didn't want to be alive in those four days when I was in my room by myself, after sitting there and thinking about everything, I I wanted to find a different way. I wanted to find a different answer. Um, I was sick and tired of feeling how I felt, and that's why I started to seek help, and, and, and that's when I checked myself into a treatment center. More at imlistening.org. Talk saves lives. Crowder, our friend Badlands Booker, is on the uh, Toyota of Hollywood hotline. We love this dude. My man. Um, Badlands won the second annual lemonade chug at uh, Coney Island. It you know uh, takes place now before the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Badlands, who has carved out this niche with his Badlands Chugs YouTube channel, uh, he won again in impressive fashion, beat his own record. Uh, George Shea was going to interview him right after the chug. He let out a huge belch, as Badland <laughs> is, uh, Badlands is known to do. And, uh, and it's all part of the great fun on Coney Island on the 4th of July. And he is joining us now. Hello, Badlands. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? We're good. For me. We're good. So uh, there's a lot that happened on Monday, and I want to talk about it all. But first, talk about the lemonade chug. Now, how how much lemonade are you drinking there, and how quickly? It was um, one gallon of lemonade, 
And um, um, I did it in, uh, I think the official time is 23.5 seconds. Ooh. A gallon. A gallon. <clears throat> One gallon. And yep. was it, was, is it cold? <laughs> is it like, is it room temperature? Is it cold? How do they, because uh, oh, I imagine it, if it's it was, cold, it, it's, it's got to be harder to, to drink quickly, no? Definitely, definitely. When, when it's fridge cold, it's definitely harder to drink. But since it was a really hot day, I say it was about, it felt like high 80s. So it was refreshing. So, <laughs> so I didn't <laughs> mind it being fridge cold. And Badlands, you're a whooping people, man. Who's your competitor? Like, you even look next to you or you just walk up there knowing you're about to win this thing? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I couldn't sleep on the other chuggers. You know, it's T. Kenny, you know, who was at the um, the left of me, your right. You know, you know, he, you know, he's a good chugger. He has a YouTube channel as well. And, um, you know, the dude, the dude posts, every, you know, five times a week. And, you know, he does big, big style chugs like that. And so I couldn't sleep on him. And, you know, the other chuggers, you can't sleep on nobody in competitive eating or in any sport because, you know, it, it could be it could be anybody's day, you know. It could be could be the you know the sleepers out there, the upsets out there. So, I had to bring my A game. And you did, man. It was it was impressive. The belch that you let out was impressive. And then, of course, for for people who don't know, Badlands also a rapper. You performed there. It it had to feel great. So, if I remember correctly, uh, two years ago in the in the heart of the pandemic or the beginning of it. You guys did the hot dog mm-hmm. eating contest, but it was, it, you know, it was closed to the public. It was just very quiet. Right. It was kind of antiseptic. And then last year, it wasn't at Coney Island, right? Or it wasn't on the corner. It wasn't on the corner. I forget what the streets are on the the, the intersection. Oh there. yeah, it wasn't on the corner of Surf and Stillwell. Right. Yeah, right. It was actually it was it was actually at um, uh, Minomides Park. It's it, it's the ballpark where the Brooklyn Cyclones play. It's about a good two three blocks away. And, 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 um, and but but this time Monday it was back at the uh, at the intersection there where it's always yep. been and that I'm guessing yep. that had to feel great because I mean it was it was mobbed with people. Oh yes, yes, it was awesome. You know, we you know we was back on the block. You know, even um, George Shea and I wrote a new rap, shot a new music video. We were so happy to be back on the block. You know, you know we're so happy that things are getting better slowly but surely. You know, in regard to the pandemic, you know, where we can have an event like this and um, and yeah, a lot of people came out. I, it looked like it was a good, you know, definitely pre pre pandemic. Yeah. Okay, about. About 40, 45,000 people was out there, and they came out early, too, which was totally awesome. And Badlands, you can't, you can't, obviously you couldn't do the drinking and eating. Do you have to choose? Like, how do you, how do you go about that, knowing that you can't do the lemonade and the hot dogs? You, you know, I actually could. I, I could have ate a few hot dogs afterwards, but, <laughs> oh, yeah, but you know, according, <laughs> according to major league eating, you gotta, you gotta do either, you know, one or the other, so... So, you know, I, I chose the chugging since, you know, that's that's my thing on YouTube. You're kind of you're kind of like Shohei Otani. I mean, you can pitch and you can hit. I mean, you could you could do yeah. uh, you could do the drinking. You can do the eating as well. Badlands no Booker. No Badlands doubt. Booker is with us. <laughs> so here this was really interesting. Obviously, we know that uh, Joey Chestnut is the winner once again. He is as dominant mm-hmm. in eating as you are in drinking. But there was mm-hmm. this wild incident a protester, just a person in the in the in the crowd, runs up on stage during the timed, you know, hot dog eating competition and goes right yeah. to where Joey is. Joey sees and senses the dude, puts him in a headlock. George <laughs> Shea runs over to tackle the guy. And, you know, yep. 30 seconds later, Joey Chestnut's back to eating hot dogs. Now, it certainly affected uh, the total number of dogs and buns that he was able to eat, but have uh, yeah. have you thought about what you would do in that situation? Oh, if that happened to me, well, you know, I, I'll, I'll hold the guy and keep chugging until the cops come. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I I'll hold him. I, I I grab him and just give him the Badlands death lock and just be like, "You ain't going nowhere, buddy. Hold on, let me drink, let, let me drink this lemonade and then I'll deal with you." <laughs> Dude, he wouldn't get nowhere. I bet he wouldn't, Badlands. You seem like you got a little, a little grip on you now. But 
Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I got a little, you, you know, I, I had to keep the G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip back in the day, so I know how to grip a person. <laughs> but, but Badlands, past the, t- obviously the time, because you're losing time with, the, you know, leaving, eating to go grab the dude and choke him out. What about mentally, like to have to stop and think about that while you were locked into the hot dog eating? Like, what, was, how hard would that be to go back to competing after you just had to choke somebody out? Well, um, I mean, you know, something like that you don't expect, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, you, you, you think about, you know, how dangerous that could have been. You know, I'm, I'm, I, mean, I mean, we talk a little bit now because nothing serious happened. But, you know, it's like you never know in a situation like that. So it does affect you mentally, you know, but it's like, you, you know what I'm saying, you just got to shake that off and, and just continue to do what you came here to do. And, you know, in Joey's case – keep on eating in my case keep on chugging you know so so yeah i I know it i know it affected joey you know a bit you know that's why you know his numbers you know i I know he would have did at least 70 if that didn't happen but um but yeah something like that does affect you but you know you gotta shake that off you know shake off all that uh you you, you know all that negativity and just and, and just and you know and just keep doing what you're doing you know what you came here to do was that the the talk amongst all the eaters afterwards i'm guessing the eaters maybe get together yeah. somewhere and george yeah, Shea, yeah. The, I mean, we, the commissioner I mean, yeah we were all shocked we were all shocked that happened but the thing about it is that you know they you know there have been protests before so you know you, you know the pro- protesters stormed the stage before so it's like uh you, you know it wasn't you know when it happened it wasn't un- that unexpected you know what i'm saying gotcha badlands booker is with us if you haven't checked out his badlands chugs youtube channel you're missing out i mean it is wild and we have not talked to you since you set a guinness world record for drinking this is unbelievable crowder if you're not aware correct me if i uh if i have this wrong badlands you drink a Uh liter of mountain dew in less than seven seconds Yes, yes, that's correct. 6.80 seconds, yes. So that's a Guinness mm-hmm. Book of World Records world record. Mm-hmm. A liter. Yes, is, yes. I just want people to understand. I want you people to think about how much this is. A liter yep. of Mountain Dew that's very sizzly, the Mountain Dew, that can't go down easy. And yeah. you drank mm-hmm. the full liter in 6.8 seconds. Did you even think that was possible? I did not think that was possible, but you know, I uh, um you, you know, we, we did it out in um Richfield, Washington, you know, at at, a, at an event at at, at the ALNA Conceal and you know, the the crowd was amped up. I had uh I had, you know, the, uh, the, the you, know, you know, the greatest hype man ever, you know, that's on my side. The great YouTuber, uh, Dane Drops, was with, was with me. He was the official timekeeper, and you know, the, you know, he and you know, he, you know, with him, like, you know, saying, "Come on, Balance, you can do this." You know, don't stop till it's gone. Keep drinking. You know, with him hyping you up, you, you know, you know, I could do the impossible with him. You know, having my back. So. You know, it 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 was good. It was good. I, I was shocked myself. You know, you know, six seconds was you know something else. And but man, it, the bubbles, like Hawk just said, because I would think the same thing. The carbonation would mean something. But when you're drinking that damn fast, does it, you even feel the bubbles? Could you drink a a liter of milk faster without bubbles? Because that I don't. That's crazy. Six point eight seconds. Well, <laughs> well, well, um, you, you know, different drinks affect you differently. You know, because you know the milk. The milk affects you because it has like all the dairy and stuff in it. You know that makes it a little tougher, and and you know the soda with the carbonation, and but, you know I you, you know you just gotta go for it. I, I guess I was just prepared either way, you know. So so I'm just glad it worked out the way it did. You have a much. you have a gift, Badlands. You have a gift. Mm-hmm. Badlands oh, Booker you. is with us. Truly, honestly, you you have a gift, and you, you have this uh, <laughs> personality that jumps out. Everybody loves. Uh, Loves watching you. Uh, I would be remiss because uh, today is National Macaroni Day, and we've talked about oh, it man. throughout the show a little bit. Now, uh, wow. you're you're a, a big dude, right? I'm not saying anything uh-huh. out of uh, turn. You're a big dude. You're a big fella. No, 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 no. I'm the I'm I'm the Badlands big man walking, loudest thing talking, product of New York City. So that's me. So uh, <laughs> as a big man, uh, you can speak on this. I believe Kraft macaroni and cheese is a dinner. I can make a box of that, and that's that could be dinner for me. I'm I'm down with that. Crowder says that's okay. that's not a dinner. That's a child's dinner. 
Uh, Badlands Booker, you being a top competitive eater in the world, uh, how do you feel about Kraft macaroni and cheese as a meal? Hey, I used to, you know, back in the day, I used to, you know, when they had the powder, I used to grab a box, pour all those noodles up, man, and just, uh, you, you, you know, mix the powdered, um, you, you know, cheese in there and, and, j- and just went to town. So, hey, you know, saying if, if, if you can't, you know, you know, have the good stuff, you know, you know, like your moms or your grandmas make, you know, what I'm saying where they have the three cheeses and everything and just, you know, nice and bubbly. Well, you know, Kraft macaroni and cheese will do. It's all good. We'll do, Hawk. We'll do. He's, I mean, he's, he's, he's being Man. nice, but he's telling you that he used to have it as a meal. I mean, it, the yeah, thing right I now, used to Badlands. Eat ramen noodles okay. as a meal, no, 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 but then but, I grew up and but, I, I'm but, not eating ramen noodles but, but anymore what, as a but meal. But Badlands, what Badlands, I think, is trying to say is, hey, I'm a pretty successful YouTuber at this point. I don't need to be eating mm-hmm. the powdered cheese in the Kraft macaroni and cheese box anymore if I want some nice pasta I'm going to go out and get it, but I don't think you would yeah. look down on someone that has some Kraft macaroni and cheese as dinner. Oh, no, 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 definitely not. You know, I still get down with the Kraft macaroni and cheese. I didn't say I didn't say I didn't like it. I still like it to this day. I, I wish I would have known it, it was macaroni, national macaroni and cheese. I would have put... I would have made a whole bunch of that, threw it in the DOS boot, and chugged it or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a video. I think there's still time. There's still time, yeah. you know? I got some night viewers that might do that. Shoot. <laughs> mess, mess around. Stop stop to the um, – well, there's no Publix where I live, but I'll, but I'll stop at ShopRite or, or you know, you know my local supermarket. Go to the corner store and mess around. Get some – boil some water up, man. Mix that. That will be a video. <laughs> But the but the other part of that question that Hawk asked, as a meal, and that's it. Yeah, sure. It's a side. It's a side, Badlands. It's not a whole meal. No meat. No nothing else. Just a bowl of mac and cheese as a meal. Let's go. I'm ready. That's give, what I'm talking just give, about. <laughs> just just give me a just give me a spoon or a fork. You know, you know. Say if there's none available, the you know I use the utensils that God gave me. I'll scoop it out. <laughs> That is what Dude. I'm talking about. That would be a great video. I mean, uh, you 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 know, you make it extra creamy, right? A little extra butter, a little yeah. extra milk, and you make it extra yeah. creamy, and you just chug it as if it was a drink, right? Exactly, exactly. I mean, it, it would be easier to chug than beans. <laughs> but <laughs> that was the worst chug. I think that was the worst chug I ever did. I think I'm thinking about having that for dinner tonight, a glass of macaroni and cheese instead of a bowl of macaroni and cheese. I think I want to, I think I want to follow in his footsteps. We're, we're both followers on YouTube. I can't wait for that video to drop. Oh, man, I man. can't wait for that one. That'll be great. <laughs> that is oh, man, I, wow. I should do it. I should, I, I, should, I should go to the store right now. You should. Get that, get, oh, man, that would be awesome. Eric Badlands <laughs> Booker. Follow the uh, YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Badlands Chugs. And, uh, you know, Badlands is absolutely one of our favorite competitive eaters to talk to and we wanted to congratulate you for another great performance on Coney Island second year in a row that you win the lemonade yeah. uh, drinking contest and uh, and I imagine we'll see you back there again next year what's up uh, what's up for you next uh, eating wise eating contest wise anything uh, on the calendar um, I mean there's a few things in the works but I, I think that the, the next definite will be uh, this Labor Day weekend you know coming you know, I'll be at the Buffalo Wing Fest, you know, like I am every year, you know. You know, but you know, Buffalo is, is you know, that's one of the um that's one of the permanent, you know, stops, you know, on the year on the circuit. So, you know, I'll definitely be up in Buffalo this Labor Day. How, weekend, how many how many know, how many wings? Day. How many wings will you knock down? Well, my, my personal best is hundred and ninety one in uh, twelve minutes. <sighs> Oh my goodness! I'm guessing you're clearing the meat right off the bone there, right? You're not leaving a lot behind. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's got to be 85 percent. You know, ain't nothing left but you know, a little cartilage and gristle. And you know, I, I, I get all the rest of the meat off. Shoot, I have techniques. You know, you know, I take the drumsticks, two bites. One, two, put it down. You know what I'm saying? I do the meat umbrella with the other ones. You know, you know, split the bone with the big thumb, and just. Whomp, and just you know, it's 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 
it's like you know, it's like a machine. It's like you know, a typewriter. It's like you know, like 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 you on the on on the um. How can I can't explain. I, you, it's it's, just, it's a sight to see. It's a sight. It's a sight. What is uh? <laughs> what does Badlands prefer? The flats or the drums? I like the drumsticks. Yeah. Drumsticks all day. More meat. You know, saying get the that thing off the bone. You know, I do a two bite method. I, I bite one end. Flip, Put the wrist over, bite the other end, put it down, 85% is off. You know, I don't. there's no bone on the flat, you know what I'm saying? Mrs. Badlands like the flats, so I take all the drummies, give her the flats. Yeah, I, I prefer the flats, which tells you a little bit about me. Mm-hmm. I also have macaroni and cheese as a, a complete entree. Yeah. But I uh, I can generally knock down, and what do, you, what do you feel about this? I can generally knock down about four wings before I'm full. Oh, oh, well, well, you know, next time I'm down in Miami, you know, you know, we got, we got to go training, we got to go somewhere, go to Buffalo Wild Wings, you All know, right. get that number up. I'll you know? train. I'll go. I'll go wing training no. with, with Badlands no. Booker. One hundred percent. I'm gonna be like Rocky, yeah. Rocky with Apollo Creed there. Exactly, exactly. You know, what I'm saying, you know, we'd be like, there is no tomorrow. Okay, we we we, we can go running with wings on the on, on South Beach. You know, what I'm saying. I've been trying to. I've been trying to train you to drink for years, Hawk. It's not. That's working. a lost cause, man. That is it. That is a. That is. A, I have finally found a drink that appeals to me, and it's Kraft macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Badlands, one I beer. Do that truck now. <laughs> one beer, hour and a half. I'm like, come on. I'm man. a lightweight, Badlands. I cannot drink. But not, not, no worries. You, you, you know, you know, you know. We'll we'll train you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we'll definitely train you. We'll we'll, right. we'll get that time down to a, to an hour, then thirty minutes, <laughs> then thirty seconds. Oh yeah, I'm ready. All right, you know? fair enough. I, I am re- I am ready to believe you. I'm in. Badlands Booker. Thank you as always for making time for us, Badlands. We love talking to you. Oh, no. Thank you for having me. I appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much for having me. There you go. Badlands Booker. I'm telling you, subscribe to the YouTube channel. It is Badlands Chugs, and it is wildly entertaining. Yeah. Um, but I'm not lying. I'm, I'm good for four or five wings, and then I'm just like, yeah, that's enough for me. I've seen. <laughs> All right. <laughs> five o'clock Funky Buddha Happy Hour is just moments away. You're listening to the Hawk and Crowder Show. You're telling me I show up at a kegger in Germany. I got to bring my cup? Well, no, there you take your das Boot. Hawk and Crowder. Want to hear a jingle? Yeah, neither do we. This commercial break is brought to you jingle-free by NJM Insurance. No jingles or mascots, just great insurance. Visit NJM.com to see if you could save up to 25% on your auto insurance. Is your employee benefit plan receiving the attention it deserves? Employee benefit plan audits require navigating complex regulatory reporting and compliance. UHY has an extensive employee benefit plan practice and ranks as one of the top firms in the country with the number of benefit plans audited. Your people are your most valuable asset. Our hands-on approach provides the insight that you and your plan's participants deserve. Call our Farmington office, 860-530-6949 or visit FarmingtonCPA.com. Head back in time with the Hartford Symphony Orchestra to celebrate the iconic rock event Woodstock with a summer of 69 on Friday, July 8th at the Talcott Mountain Music Festival at Simsbury Meadows. The HSO will be joined by guest artists Jeans and Classics who will perform the legendary music of Woodstock with their own special flair. For tickets to Summer of 69 on Friday, July 8th, call 860-987-5900 or visit hartfordsymphony.org. A bad team facing a good team is never completely out of it. Nick Costos, co-host of You Better You Bet. 3 to 7 p.m. Eastern on the BetQL Network. There's 162 games in the season. The best teams are going to lose 60-plus times, and the worst teams are going to win 60-plus times. Each night is its own individual entity. That's what makes betting on the baseball regular season so much fun. All the insight you need to bet smarter is at BetQL.com. And listen to You Better You Bet with Nick Costos and Ken Barkley streaming weekdays from 3 to 7 p.m. Eastern on Odyssey. 
Did you have a dream last night? If not, are you sure? Everyone dreams for about two hours per night. We just don't have the tape recorder running. Do pilots get jet lag? Are we ever going to get a hangover cure? Did the dinosaurs have feathers? They had feathers. Figured I'd give you that one. My name is Mike Simpson. This is what we do on my podcast. It's called I've Got Questions. Chameleons are not what you think. Beer used to be a drink at breakfast. Let's learn some stuff. New episodes Thursdays. I've Got Questions on Odyssey or wherever you get your podcasts.